everyone, welcome back to my channel. As always, thank you so much for joining me. So for today's video, I have delivered the goods and bought you all a gorgeous River Island haul. I feel like River Island is very hit and miss in terms of seasons and just in terms of what you find in there. Sometimes I go in and I don't like anything and sometimes I go in and I love everything and I'm really, really in love with some of their pieces at the moment. I bought a few things in store and I bought a few things online. I've just combined everything and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have found in River Island. And let me tell you, I think you're gonna love this haul and the outfits that I've put together. So I'm just gonna let the clothes speak for themselves in this one. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see what I picked up from River Island, then please do keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up from River Island, and this was actually the sort of outfit that inspired this haul. It was the first thing I saw on the website and I just fell in love and I just thought I had to get it. So the first um, outfit I picked up is a co-ward and it's a gorgeous like spring summer linen co-ward. So I'm gonna show you the shirt first. So this is the shirt. As you can see, it's just a gorgeous spring summer relaxed oversized um, button down shirt in linen and it's the beautiful like oatmeal-y beige colour and I absolutely love this. I absolutely love shirts like this in the warmer, um, warmer weather. I think they're so versatile. They go with everything. You can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them on their own on top of a bikini, like open. There's just so many ways to wear like a nice really well made linen shirt and this one is for me the perfect linen shirt. And then to go with that, I also picked up the matching linen trousers. So in love with these. They've got the elasticated waistband and um, they're just a lovely long full length trouser. Again, beautiful, flowy and relaxed. And this co-ward looks so gorgeous together. I just couldn't resist. It looked amazing on the model and I have to say, I really, really love how this looks. I think it looks chic and effortless and stylish. And I probably just style this with some like black, um, like chunky, uh, like dad sandals. And then maybe just like a woven or like macrame sort of handbag, either a big like shoulder one or a little clutch, um, like macrame woven sort of bag. I think that would look amazing uh, with this outfit. Such a gorgeous summer outfit. Definitely something you can take on holiday, something you can wear here in England. I just think it's so gorgeous, so versatile. And the trousers I got in a small, and the only thing I will say is that the trousers were extremely long. For those of you who don't know or haven't seen um, some of my other videos, I'm typically a size eight and I'm five foot. I'm actually just under five foot, so I'm very short and petite. Um, and most trousers I ever buy are too long, so that's quite normal for me, and I'm just used to asking my mum to alter them and to shorten them for me. Um, and these are no exception, they are quite long, but um, I can make it work. So yeah, I got the trousers in a size small, and they were £35, and then I got the shirt also in a size small, and it was £29, so really amazing value in my opinion. I think this looks so expensive and it's just so wearable year after year. I think you're gonna love it forever. I know that this is something I would absolutely live in and get the wear out of. So for me, it's 100% worth the money and the quality is there as well. So very, very happy with this set. Okay, and then a slightly different uh, vibe we're going for now. Slightly more casual, a little bit unisex, a little bit sort of just threw this on going out to the shops, etc. I really love this though. So I found this sweatshirt. Um, as you can see, it says London, Milan, um, what does it say? 1988. Um, and it's just a lovely, creamy, slightly off-white color with the, obviously with the green, um, the green embroidery on the front. Um, it's so, so soft on the inside. It's lovely and fleece lined. And it's like the perfect amount of oversized. It's like not too much where it just looks really silly and like not very flattering. Um, but it's like the perfect amount where, you know, you can have a nice big meal and not, you know, and not show. 
that's exactly how I like my jumpers to look. I just like it to be really relaxed, very casual and, you know, comfy, but still look put together. So just this with some um, like baggy jeans and some black boots, uh, maybe a cap, something along those lines. Or this would look really nice with like a gilet um, or some maybe some faux leather trousers. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to style it. But I feel like this is just so versatile. Like there's not really, you can't really go wrong. There isn't really a wrong outfit to wear this with. I feel like it would look good with so many things and I really loved it. Um, and I thought it was just such a wearable me item that I would definitely get the wear out of. I got this in a size small. And as I said, I don't think you need to size up because it's already quite a nice sort of oversized fit. I really, really like this. And then I also picked up um, something slightly different for me actually and I actually feel like there's a lot of trousers coming up in this haul and usually I feel like most of my hauls are very top heavy I always find like tops and jumpers but not always trousers so I do feel like River Island does really good trousers and jeans and I, I feel like a lot of the trousers and um, bottom halves that I have in my cupboard actually are River Island so anyway so I actually picked up these and you won't see them very easily here but obviously you'll see in the try on clip um, they're basically, they're like a cargo slash baggy jean. So they're like a khaki, not even khaki, they're like an off, like a faded green. Yes, like a, like a faded dark green rather than a, um, a, like a sort of khaki colour. It's really hard to describe the colour. And basically I just saw these hanging and I thought they looked so cool. They're basically cuffed at the bottom and they have sort of like a baggy fit. So they're not like a straight leg trouser and they're not obviously skinny. Um, they're sort of like a mum jean, that sort of style where they're a little bit, they kind of go like that, a little bit outwards um, and then cuff in at the bottom. And they basically got like the darting down here, which I always like, cause I feel like that's really flattering, kind of gives you a nice like little waist. Um, and yeah, I thought these were so, so cool and not, 100% my usual style and um, but I tried them on in the store and I really liked them so I thought I'm gonna give these a go and try and style them up when I get home I think these would look really good with that sweater um but I also think these would look really really good with like a boho sort of uh top half maybe like a like a white like a white blouse with like nice big balloon sleeves or something something a little bit boho style I think would look really nice or maybe like a tight white crop top with puffy sleeves or something. So I thought these were so cool um, and they fit really, really nicely. Again, I did roll up the cuffs at the bottom, even though they were already rolled, I rolled them up again because again, they were a little bit long and River Island's usually good for doing um, like petite, regular tall, but they didn't have that in these, they were all regular. But a lot of the time they have petite, which I really like. They have, um, I think they call it, like 8S, like 8 short. I like it when they do that because they always fit so well. But anyway, I got these in an 8 regular and they were £39, so not like cheap, definitely on the more expensive end for a pair of like trousers, obviously high street trousers, but I think they're really, really nice and I'm looking forward to seeing how I style these up. Okay, so we've done a lot of neutrals. We've done a lot of like beiges and creams and muted colors. And now we're gonna go the other side. So I bought a nice bright outfit for you guys as well. I've actually got two bright outfits, which is not that usual for me. I do like my sort of muted paler colors, but I really loved this outfit. So I bought another co-ord and it's actually the same as the first linen co-ord, but it's the short version and it's in green. So it's this color, bright Bottega green, which I absolutely love. So again, I got the shirt in the exact same size as the first one. So I got the size small. Um, it's exactly the same, so I don't need to go on about it. It's the same shirt, just in green. Absolutely love this. Yeah, got it in a size small. And then these are the shorts, which I just thought was so cute. And I wanted to try both the trousers and the shorts. So these are the shorts. I love these shorts. Again, they're so flattering. Like the shape of the shorts are so nice. Exactly the same as the trousers, just a short version. Just like they sit really nicely on my tummy. Um, they're just a really lovely fit. And I actually find shorts and trousers quite difficult on me. Um, I'm quite fussy with what I like. And yeah, I just absolutely loved this co-ord. I thought it was so, so gorgeous. And again, because 
it's quite a versatile piece maybe not the short but the shirt you could definitely just wear out um, with like a nice big like silver chunky necklace and some jeans and some heels or trainers or whatever and again you've got another outfit so I love a linen shirt they just they're great all year round well maybe not winter but they're just a great versatile piece and I absolutely love this and sorry I forgot to say the price the shorts were £25 and I got them in a size small as well and I obviously already said the price of the shirt and then the next item is probably one of my favorites I really really love this I saw this in the shop um, and I actually didn't get it because I was busy and then I saw it online and got it online and I just love this so much it's so simple but I just love it um, and it's another sweatshirt um, I really love comfy clothes in case you didn't notice and it's just this sort of like duotone beige sweatshirt and it says bisou on it which means kiss I think in French very embarrassing if I got that wrong but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that bisou means kiss um, and I just absolutely loved it. As soon as I saw it, I thought it looked, I can't really explain. I just thought it looked sort of like, sort of boho, very effortless, just very, I don't know, very sort of like Mediterranean. I don't know why. I just, I just felt like this was so nice and just so wearable. I think it probably is the color that attracted me to it because I love the sort of like the dirty, the dirty brownie beige and then like the lighter beige. And I feel like it's so wearable, very my color scheme. It would look so nice with jeans, casual with leggings, although I very rarely wear leggings, with some like faux leather leggings, some um, cargoes, even like a, like a, like a khaki cargo or maybe I've got a beige pair of cargos which I think would look really cool with this I just feel like the possibilities with this are endless it's a gorgeous oversized fit um which as we know <laughs> by this point I love oversized fit and I got this in a size medium and I'm happy with the size I got it in um again because I saw it in the store in the medium that's just the size I ordered and it fits really really nicely um, and it was £39, so it wasn't cheap. I definitely think that's on the higher end for a sweatshirt, for sure. But I know I would definitely get the wear out of this. It's such good value for money and definitely would get my price per wear. And it's also very, very soft, um, which I love anything. I just love my clothes to be soft. Okay, and then next up, we have another pair of trousers, which, again, just so unlike me. And we've got a lovely bright pair this time. So I picked up this beautiful pair of bright pink trousers. I absolutely fell in love with these when I saw these in the store. I just love this shape. I love a nice high waist um, and just a lovely straight leg. Actually, slight, slightly tapered. They're not, obviously they're not slim at all. They're not a slim leg. Obviously they're not as loose as the linen pair, um, but they are a, a, still a nice, like, loose, straight leg, at slightly cuffed at the bottom. Um, and I just thought these looked so, so nice. I like that they put the dark buttons because it means you can have a dark top. I love it when um, brands do this, when a piece of clothing is like a kind of a, a harder to style colour, for example, bright pink. So they put an accent of a darker colour or a lighter colour so that you can style it. So if these had white buttons, it would look nice with a white top. Um, I mean, it still look nice with white, I think, but when they have like dark or black buttons or a black belt or something, it's so much easier to style because you can put black boots, black top, etc. I just thought the shape of these was so nice. So I tried them on in the store and I really, really liked how they looked on. Um, they're definitely a true to size size 8 and I just loved the colour so much and I just really wanted to attempt to style these. I do think these will look really really nice with just a short top in black or a dark colour and then maybe just some black heeled boots. I think that would look really really nice. The legs aren't overly long I don't think. I don't remember them being overly long but I may have to roll them up maybe once. But yeah, I just absolutely love these. And these these were £35, which I think is very fair for a pair of trousers. Like, I would say that's middle of the range. Very, very fair for the quality. And I again, actually, even though these are pink, I actually think they're very versatile. I do think there are quite a few things you can style this with. You can have a shirt, you can have a jumper, something cropped. Depends whether you're dressing them up or down. I think they would even look quite cool with a sweatshirt sort of tucked in at the front. 
So I think there are actually quite a few ways you can wear these if you don't mind being a little bit loud and bright. And obviously they're great for work. So yeah, I really, really like these actually. Okay, so this is the final item of clothing because I have a whole bag of shoes. So I'm really looking forward to showing you the shoes I found in River Island too. Again, really unusual for me to find so many shoes that I love there, but they did really, really well with shoes this year. So I picked up another pair of trousers and I spotted these on um, on the poster behind the till. You know, they always have like a promotional piece um, and they were on the model and I really loved these. So I thought I would pick these up as well. The lovely lady behind the till actually ordered these uh, for me to arrive at home. So they look like this, as you can see. I mean, I feel like I'm not doing them justice holding them up. Again, you'll see better in the clip. But basically they're a gorgeous like oatmeal color, oatmeal-ish, dark beige color, um, with this turnover waist and it goes all the way round, as you can see. Um, and I just thought these were so unusual. They've got obviously the tie um, at the front, like the little bow uh, to tie at the front. I'm in two minds about what they look like on me. The first thing I will say, like without a shadow of a doubt, is they're way too long. They are, I mean, the others are long, but these are extremely long. So if I keep these, these will, these will have like half the leg taken off. They're very, very long. Oh, they call the color gray. To me, they look beige. Maybe they are grey. Okay, I'll leave it for you guys to decide. On the camera, I will say they look more grey, but in real life, they look sort of like oatmeal to me. Maybe I'm going crazy. But they're described on the label as grey, so let's call them grey. I feel like the leg is just like the perfect sort of straight leg. I love that they're really loose at the bottom, so like a really nice big straight leg. Obviously the turnover on the waist just looks amazing. So flattering, it just covers everything. And I just think these are really, really gorgeous. They look so chic, so expensive. And to be honest, this is the sort of thing where if I saw them on someone, I'd be like, wow, those are beautiful. However, I have a really short torso, um, really, really short. So I feel like these come up extremely high on me, which I'm not that keen of, of, oh my gosh, on. I mean, they're like nearly under my bra. Um, they're very, very high up on me. So I'm not sure what you guys think, but I, I think it looks maybe not quite right on me, but I think these would look stunning on someone just with a slightly longer body but I think they'd look amazing on so many body types and I just think you need to be very tall for them for, for sure. I will also say that for me personally I feel like they're a bit of a one-hit wonder. I can't I can't think of any other way to style them other than how I styled them with that sort of um like racer neck um white stretchy crop top but I feel like that's the only thing I can picture wearing with this with these, sorry, because, yeah, I mean, I don't see how any other style would work for me because I've got no space for like a, like any other top will just obviously cover the best part of the trousers. And, but if you guys can think of any other way I can style these, oh my gosh, please let me know in the comments because they're so beautiful and I actually would love to keep them. But I do need to think when I have things in my wardrobe if I'm actually going to get the price per wear, especially as these are not cheap. These were, um, 49 pounds so they're 50 quid which don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's going to break the bank but you know it's a pair of trousers and for a pair of trousers you'd wear all the time amazing that's such amazing value for money but for a pair of trousers you may only wear like once or the same like outfit every time for me i'm not sure that's worth it so you guys let me know what you think but i just think maybe for me being quite so petite i'm not sure they work Okay, so let's move on to shoes because I have a nice bag of shoes to show you guys as well. All of the shoes I bought online. So the first pair of shoes look like this. As you can see, they're basically an, a, a very off-white. I don't know how well you can tell because they look relatively white in the camera, but they're like actually quite an off-white. I love a shoe that has a nice thick strap that like holds your feet in and I like that they're open toe, obviously perfect summer shoe. I love the braiding, can you see like the braiding um, around the edge, absolutely love that. I love a cork 
um, like a cork bottom, a cork um, heel. So comfortable because they're so lightweight. These will take up no, um, no weight in your case. And let me tell you, I cannot think of a single outfit that I have that I would not be able to pair with these. I mean, like summer outfit, obviously. But I feel like every single like summer item that I have in my cupboards will go with these. They are faux leather, not genuine leather. Um, and all I will say is they are extremely comfortable. They're lovely and soft. They don't feel clunky to walk in. They definitely hold your foot nicely. I love that there's like the buckle, so obviously you can tighten it as much as you want. However, I did get a size too big. You need to size down a whole size for these shoes. Um, I am you. I'm between a three and a four, right? But in sandals, I'm usually a size three. But for some reason, I panicked and I just thought, oh, let's get a size four because that makes sense. Um, and I got these in a size four, and they are too big, a whole size too big. So, if you're like me and you're in between sizes size down my mum's a size five and they fit her perfectly oh yes these were an online exclusive so if yeah if you're looking to order them take my word for it and size down because you won't regret it they actually run quite big so the first pair that i found again online really really reminded me of the chloe trainers i think they're called the chloe nama or something i will um put a picture here so you can see what i'm referring to um, and then these are the River Island ones. Look, I'm not saying that they're an exact dupe. Obviously, why would they be? They're not supposed to be a replica. They're just sort of like inspired by. But I'm like 99% sure that River Island definitely took inspiration from those trainers because there's definitely a resemblance. Um, as you can see, they're basically these white sneakers and then the stitching is exactly like the Chloe stitching with the sort of like burnt orange um, and the gray Obviously they've got these have um, the shiny like gold accent, which the uh, original Chloe's don't have. But I just thought these looked really expensive and I just really liked them. But if you wore these, I feel like genuinely no one would ever think that they were 45 pound shoes. So I tried these on and they are so comfortable, like 10 out of 10 comfort very squidgy and soft, um, feel light as air. They're so, so nice. I love just everything about them. I think they look really classic, very like, just very effortless. Again, like you could just wear any outfit with these and I feel like it would just complete the look because I just think they're really, really good um, alternative to the Chloe sneakers and I stuck to my usual size for closed toe shoes which is a size four and they fit absolutely perfect and then last but not least I have one more pair of trainers to show you guys and again these to me are such a dupe and again they're a Chloe dupe so these trainers really remind me of the Chloe Lauren trainers the lacy ones um, they look like this. I think they're a pretty close match, to be honest. Um, so they're in this ivory colour, which is the same colour as the Chloe Lauren sneakers. And they've just got this gorgeous, like, lacy detail on the sides, which is the same as the Chloe's. And as an obviously much, much cheaper alternative, I think these are so nice. And what I love about these is because they're like a slightly dressier trainer, I think they look amazing with like a dress. On, like if you're going out and you've got heels on and you take these with you and you just feel like throughout the night you just want to change out of your heels, you could just wear these and they still look so nice. I'm such a fan of a dress and trainer together. I love that combo. But obviously these would look so amazing just with jeans and a nice blouse. You can wear them literally with anything i feel like these are such a gorgeous pair of shoes i'm obsessed with like the the um like ribbon laces rather than like the typical like the standard lace i love the nice thick white sole again really similar to um the chloe's and i just think as a high street alternative these are so nice i feel like they, they were definitely inspired by the chloe ones i find it really hard to believe that it's just a coincidence um, but yeah, I love these so much. Again, I got these in a size four as well. They fit perfectly and these were £29. They're a little bit flat for me because I have very arched feet. So sometimes I like just a little bit more, like more of a curve inside the sole. 
like the other trainers, these are quite flat, like a plimp sole. If you don't have ultra high arches like me, you will absolutely love these. They're so nice. I just can't believe what a bargain these are. I just think these are the most girly, feminine, like pretty looking trainers. They look so pretty on the foot. And I'm really, really happy with this purchase. I feel like a lot of people will love these. So yeah, I thought I had to show you guys these. Okay guys, so that is everything. That is everything from my River Island haul. I'm just obsessed with these outfits. I'm so, so happy with the things that I found. And I'm now going to decide what I'm going to be keeping and what to send back. So please do let me know what I should keep. I definitely will be keeping the linen co-ord for sure. And I might have to keep one of the pairs of shoes at least. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.